Hey, welcome to uh, Easy Computer Fixes, and uh, this is not really a fix it video, it's more of an explanational video. Um, some people have asked me that they can't or they just won't uh, connect their iPhones to their Apple TV device. So one of the first things that you need to know to uh, work it out, you need to have of course a uh, Apple TV device. This is my Apple TV device right here. This is the third generation Apple TV and it's one of those little devices that connects to your existing Wi-Fi network. Uh, it can stream a lot of stuff. It can stream your music. But one of the uh, interesting uses that this device has is that with an iPad, an iPhone, and, and even your Mac, you can actually turn on the sharing of the videos and the uh, screens, uh, which is called AirPlay. So how do you activate AirPlay? First of all, make sure that your iPhone, so here's my iPhone, make sure that it's into your own network. So here I'm on the LTE um, wireless of uh, my carrier. So I'll turn on Wi-Fi, make sure that I'm connected to my own network. And you know because you have these little lines that will show up at the top and say okay here I am I'm plugged into the Wi-Fi network so both your Apple TV and your iPhone needs to be on the same network once that is done you double press on the bottom of your iPhone and you see that the menu starts up at the bottom you slide until you see the little device here this little sharing icon on the screen You'll click on that and you'll choose your Apple TV and you'll say that you want to um, copy the video on the screen and click OK. And as soon as you do that, notice that my iPhone is now on my TV screen. So if I slide and go into my different icons. And what's cool is that is that everything shares. So for example, um, I want to simply play a game I can click and I can for example use this one which is a uh, racing game and uh, everything is there to make it work on screen so uh, all you have to do is just click on any apps and everything is going to be airplayed to your TV so it gives you an idea <laughs> And if I click on the bottom and get out of my apps, there you go. You want to surf the web but have a bigger screen. It's really cool because you can click on your Apple TV. And here we go. You just simply go wherever you want to go. Uh, this is the old ports. If I go to Computer World, for example, and uh, check the news, what's happening in the tech. And here you go. So basically what I do here is what's happening on the screen. It's really, really, really nice. It's very easy to do actually. So how you have to do is be on the same network. It's very important. Uh, be on your home network, your Apple TV and your um, iPhone or iPad needs to be on the same network. Another thing, this sharing works only on iOS 6. So if you're on iOS 5, you can still share uh, some videos, but you'll have to check into the apps. So uh, if you're on iOS 5, the difference is that instead of being uh, on AirPlay directly sharing your screen, what you'll need to do is check out your apps. For example, if I uh, get out of my AirPlay here, so you'll double click again, move, you'll check, click your icon and uh, turn off, say you want just the iPhone, you're back into your Apple TV on your screen but if you're on iOS 5 and you want to share stuff an example is that if I go on YouTube and I watch a video so let's say that I watch um, this video here which is the one that's playing right here now there's a little ad on this I'll just stop the ad okay here we go so 
when you are on an app, if you're in iOS 5, instead of sharing the whole screen, you're going to share only what apps can share. And you see that my YouTube app has, I don't know if you see it better here, the YouTube app has this little sharing screen right here at the bottom right. And it says, okay, Apple TV, I'll click there. And that will share my i uh, my Our iPhone screen. For there we go. Star operation. We're going to take a look at the iCom 2820 that I've got installed here in my car. And there we go. And you want to stop it? The 92 AD handheld. All you have to do is just get out of the video, and things are back to normal. So depending if you're on iOS 5, you might only share some apps, some videos of some apps. So look for that little sharing icon in the bottom right. But if you're in iOS 6, you have the best of both worlds is that not only can you share apps, but you just have a complete clone of your uh, device. Which is pretty cool because uh, especially with an iPad not too bad, but with a, uh, a iPhone, what happens is the screen is small. So sometimes having your uh, apps running on your TV is going to be much more interesting. So everything will, of course, work. I can check the weather here. And uh, you see, this is the exact screen. Uh, yes, it is 29 degrees right now here. It's pretty hot in Montreal today. So uh, whatever you're doing, it really, really is going to uh, work well with most application. You can uh, play your favorite games. Uh, for example, if I go into the uh, Plant vs. Zombies, here it goes. And it's full screen, which is even more fun to play. One of the little drawbacks by playing game, though, is the fact that you have to touch your device screen. So it's sometimes a little awkward watching the big screen and choosing correctly on your device. On racing games, it's pretty cool. I've uh, played um, a few racing, a, re a few race games, and it's really nice. And it's really cool to be able to share that screen with your uh, Apple TV. And if you have that really big 50-inch screen, well, it's even more fun because now you're really, really, really into uh, just you know viewing uh, whatever you have on your iPhone or iPad full screen. If you've uh, rented movies on iTunes, for example, well, it's a great, great, great thing. Uh, you can actually go, for example, if I go into my, uh, if I go here, for example, let's check what I can do here. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I have one. Let's go into iTunes, and uh, for example, we can check here, search for podcasts, for example. Let's say I want to watch a uh, Techzilla podcast. I don't remember how Techzilla, I think it's Techzilla. Zilla. Well, I don't remember how it's written, but um, any any podcast, any tech podcast, um, if you type computers. Maybe it's uh, because I'm not in the right mode, but you can see where I'm going <laughs> with this. And of course, you can rent movies, um, and they'll be on the full screen of your TV, television shows. Um, whatever you want so uh, really 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 nice this is probably uh, one of the best features and um, I tell you get yourself an Apple TV it's only uh, 99 bucks or 109 bucks here in Canada and it really really if you have an iPhone or an iPad it really adds so much more to your uh, experience if you want so uh, whatever you do, you'll be able to uh, actually uh, do it on a full TV screen, which is probably the best that can happen. So ah, uh, here's podcast, for example. Um, there's a podcast, and you can get your podcast. So here are my different podcasts. I'm going to show up because they're synchronized uh, with my Apple. So. Uh, whatever happens uh, you just you know choose your podcast and if you decide that you want to watch your podcast you just click on it you download it you play it 
and in this case it's going to play and uh, be full screen on my TV. Of course you can get these podcasts also on the uh, it's Apple time TV. For Windows. And so let's stop this here. The little port. So whatever you do, they're always available and it's really really nice. Um, it's not expensive. If you spend money, you know, if you spend 500 or 600 bucks for your iPhone, get yourself an Apple TV for 100 bucks, you're going to have the full experience and it's going to really be cool. Of course, you can play all your favorite games and uh, whatever you do is really nice. So, uh, this is a little look at how to match your iPhone to your Apple TV and showing you how cool it is actually to have that available um, and how incredible everything is. Uh, you know, you go to your Google Maps, you just turn around and put it in full screen TV and see wherever, um, you know, everybody are and every, where everything is. So it's very nice and um, if you go into your uh, uh, street view mode, of course, for example, if I uh, want to go into the street view mode, I can uh, check whatever I want. So um, here if I check on satellites well you'll have the satellite view uh, showing up very nice once again so uh, I think it's a great great way to uh, experience your iPhone and your iPad um, it's not as well not depends on what you're doing uh, I would say that on an iPad with a big screen that has sufficient screen that you might not find it that interesting but if you have an iPhone this is a must because it's really really gonna make your screen bigger and it's really gonna be cool and of course you can check your email and do whatever you want there it goes everything's coming in whatever you do it's all coming in all my channels are here my uh, mails coming in so uh, all that in full screen on your TV it's pretty nice and just have to double click to get your icons at the bottom on your iPhone if you wanna turn it off you just slide